Hi, my name is Pip and this is my review of Glennon Doyle's Untamed, which is a book I recently listened to as an audiobook. This is a book about Glennon's life experiences and the lessons she learnt along the way. And for those who don't really have any idea who Glennon is, you can often find TED Talks uh, and conversations that she's had uh, on YouTube, which can be really interesting. But this book is quite an interesting read. She is a woman who's gone from eating disorders and drug addiction to motherhood and marriage and then out of marriage again and falling in love with a woman and entering a same-sex relationship and getting married and and all the things that happen when families blend and the difficulties uh, that she's experienced along the road and it's a really interesting story. So the quick summary is that Basically, you're going to hear Glennon's life story, you're going to hear some self-reflection uh, and real and the way she talks about um, her first marriage and how she had been doing a promotional tour and a motivational speaking tour at the same time her life was spontaneously combusting and she was having to realize some truths about herself and who she was. But the nice thing is that accepting those truths in herself and falling in love with her now wife Abby has allowed her to be more fully herself, more happy, to give and receive love more fully and it is, it's just a really interesting story especially I think if you come from the background of being a straight person who sometimes perhaps hears stories of people who were married and then enter a same-sex relationship and wonder how that happens and I think this is a really great book for people who are in that situation because you can really see how people just push things down inside themselves. It takes people time to get to wherever they're going to go and sometimes there are lessons that they've got to be learning along the way and sometimes they are so heavily influenced by the people around them and their concern about how you know their family will feel if they are their true selves but the the point of this book is about becoming untamed being your wild self uh, unleashing the chains of what society holds on you and just being more yourself and not being weighed down by other people's expectations so as you can imagine with Glennon's life story going the way that it has. She has learnt some pretty incredible and profound lessons and she has a way of explaining them by wrapping them up in metaphors which is quite unique and very interesting. There are lots of um, issues that she's tackled and concepts that she has grappled with. Uh, obviously not all of them that I really related to reading this book and I think that because it, it is a book that is very female focused on the experience of being a woman and the the need for women to uh, she talks about be full of themselves to to make choices that are the best for them to confront the things that are obstacles for them and be a wild free untamed woman um, but this this book uh, she she really does use her life experience to take you through and show you that if you can confront these things life is better on the other side and that it's not a smooth ride and it's not going to be easy to get there and it's not supposed to be easy to get there but the point is that you're going in the direction that is most true to yourself and you're not betraying yourself by taking an alternate path because you think it's going to be easier or because you think it's going to make somebody else happier or because whatever. There were parts of this book that made me be like, yes, queen! And there were parts that made me do a much quieter, yes, I totally agree, and that's how I feel. And there were also parts where I was like, look, Glennon, I completely agree with you. You, I, I'm with you on that train. I'm there with you. I get it. Can we move on, please? And it was interesting to have that reaction. And as I was having those reactions, I kind of went, oh, wonder wonder why I'm reacting that way. Then I realized my yes queen reactions were more about uh, feelings that I had about myself and about my life that I had potentially either not been able to articulate that concisely and so it was kind of satisfying 
to get that ex like explanation or that quote wrapped up or um, they were things that I feel about myself that I had potentially not realized and so there was like just moments where you're just like yes and the moments where I was a bit like yeah I look I agree I'm with you I'm with you like let's we don't have to keep talking about this for a long time let's move on they were the interesting ones. So I want to keep reading and listening to books that are like this one, that make me confront aspects of myself, that make me have realizations about myself that are, you know, things like I need to address my white privilege, I need to address my biases, I need to address whatever. Um, and as well as things that are satisfying, like, yes, that's what I've been feeling and I've been waiting for someone to articulate it because I couldn't do it myself. So this book kind of has a little bit of everything and I think that's because Glennon's had quite a colourful life and a very interesting life and I think if you enjoy a kind of lyrical style of writing um, laced with lots of metaphors and real genuine emotion and life experience where you want to get sort of intimate knowledge of the characters that are being discussed in the book so you can really know know those people uh, then this is the kind of book I think for you this is a really interesting book uh, in terms of sort of assessing the various hmm, chains I guess that society places on women and how sometimes we then decide those chains are our burden to carry rather than just tossing them off and being free. I think that we let those chains and the the expectations of other people and the needs of other people burden us just so often and we need to just toss them off and live our best lives. And that's really what this book is about. I found it to be an interesting book um, a really enjoyable read and also quite eye-opening from many different perspectives not just the why am I reacting this way perspective but also there were moments where she really genuinely articulated things that I have wanted to say but couldn't say um, and so it's really nice to hear sometimes that you're not alone feeling that way and it's also really nice to know that you can have such a different life experience than someone else so, you know, I don't know what it's like to do drugs. I've never done drugs that weren't given to me by my endocrinologist. So it's really nice to hear that I have some stuff in common with that person. It's really nice to hear that I have some stuff in, con in common with someone who's been through, like, marriage explosions and finding love and all, all of that side of Glennon's life when I've never been through that sort of thing. So it was just really interesting to find that there are so many common life experiences and emotions that you can really have in common with lots of people because I think that so many of us go through different phases of our lives, whether you want to call it a midlife crisis or whatever, that you are just kind of going, why the fuck is this so hard? Like it's not supposed to be like this or where you're trying to find direction, or where you struggle to find love and meaning in a relationship. And I, I just think those are such universal topics. And so the thing I kind of walked away from with this book is that the times where you'll feel your worst is where you're making a decision that betrays what you know to be right. And I really think this was beautifully captured by the way Glennon describes falling in love with her wife, which is such a beautiful story. And it kind of made me all warm and squishy to know that there is somebody out there who has this beautiful kind of love that I think would be amazing for everyone to be so understood by their partner and so in love with their partner. I just think, I mean, it's, it's nothing's all roses, but it would be really lovely to know that more people had that kind of love. And this review has now taken a weird turn. So all I'm going to say is check out Glennon Doyle's Untamed. I think if you're a woman who's struggling to find your way in the world, struggling to find a way to make yourself happy, you will find things in this book that you can relate to. I think that's why 
this book has gathered so much attention because there are so many different aspects from her life that you could relate to, that I might not relate to, that someone else will. It, there's just so many things that you're just like, yeah. Glennon gets it. I hope you've enjoyed this review of Glennon Doyle's Untamed and I hope you will subscribe to this channel.